Hello and welcome to the News in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent today a cable of congratulations to the Tunisian President Kais Saeed on his country's Republic Day. His Majesty the King wished the Tunisian President abundant health and happiness and the brotherly people of Tunisia for their progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent today a congratulatory cable to the President of the Republic of Tunisia, Kai Saeed, on the occasion of his country's Republic Day. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Tunisia, Hisham Mishishi. Marking the launch of the 32nd edition of the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the successful opening of the Olympics, which will be held from July the 23rd to August the 8th. His Highness praised the distinguished efforts made by the Empire of Japan to host and organise this global sporting event in light of the repercussions of the COVID-19 pandemic, which caused the postponement of the Tokyo Olympics from last year until this year. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa said, that the holding of the Tokyo Olympics represents a victory that and the will of the sports community in the face of the restrictions and repercussions imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic, as this represents a great opportunity for the return to normal life for sports in various parts of the world. His Highness said that the Japanese Organising Committee 2020, in cooperation with the International Olympic Committee, were able to overcome all obstacles to create the appropriate atmosphere in order to organise this edition of the Olympics, which witnesses the participation of 205 countries, which in itself is success, added to a series of successes witnessed by the past Olympic Games. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his great pride in the distinguished participation of the Bahraini delegation in the parade at the opening ceremony, with the delegation displayed by wearing folk dress of Bahrain and the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad considered the Olympic Games the most important sporting event. The Games were launched yesterday with an opening ceremony held under the patronage of Emperor Naruhito of Japan at the Olympic Stadium in the Japanese capital, Tokyo, in the presence of political and sports leaders from various countries of the world and representatives of official delegations participating in the Olympic Games. Labour and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed al Maidan held today a remote meeting with the Chief Executive Officer of the Information and E-Government Authority, the IGA, Mohammed Ali Al-Qaid. The meeting discussed developments regarding the launch of the Employability Skills Portal, ESP, which will contribute to developing educational and training programmes for students, as well as hone their skills in a way that would meet the needs of the labour market in the future. According to the meeting, the Labour Ministry should provide IGA with the necessary data regarding the main skills and jobs required by the labour market, which will enable ESP to chart out future policies of government institutions and higher education establishments, as well as develop the educational output so as to serve the needs of Bahrain's labour market. Humidan highlighted the Labour Ministry's keenness to enhance its cooperation with the IGA in order to complete the project noting that the launch of ESP will impact positively on the labour market. The two sides underline the importance of concerted efforts in order to speed up the completion of the pioneering national project launched in line with the directors of the Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training, His Highness as Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, to encourage digital transformation and make optimal use of modern technology in providing databases with strong foundations and standards that will contribute to the future direction of the Kingdom's labour market. Director General of the World Health Organization, the WHO, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, will arrive tomorrow in the Kingdom of Bahrain on an official two-day visit, marking the official opening of the WHO office in the Kingdom, in light of the exceptional global circumstances resulting from the coronavirus COVID-19. The WHO Director General, alongside the Regional Director for the Eastern Mediterranean, Dr. Ahmed Al Madari, will get informed about Bahrain's experience and the precautionary measures taken to combat the pandemic and curtail its spread, which help protect the health and safety of citizens and residents. The visit of the WHO Director General to the Kingdom of Bahrain and the opening of the WHO Regional Office represent a new step in boosting cooperation in the health field. 
It is to note that the WHO has recently declared Manama a healthy city as the first capital in the eastern Mediterranean region in recognition for the quality of primary care services in the health centres with easy access to them as well as programmes aimed at promoting health and spreading health awareness. The expanded immunisation programme and various food, school health and environmental safety programmes. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has expressed the condolences and sympathy of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the government and people of the Friendly Republic of India over the victims of the torrential monsoon rains that swept the state of Maharashtra and caused torrential rains and landslides, which led to the death and injury of dozens of people. In a statement, the Foreign Ministry affirmed full solidarity and support of the Kingdom of Bahrain for the Friendly Republic of India in its efforts to overcome this crisis with minimal losses and damages wishing the injured a speedy recovery. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,100,267 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,039,944 had taken the second, and 122,487 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 834 with 87 recoveries, 113 registered new cases and no deaths. 59 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 47 are contacts of active cases and 7 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.